John, you can start. Hey, Traquan, welcome back, man. Just uh, kind of talk a little bit about just your feelings coming back to New Orleans and, you know, what it's going to mean to work with Jameis another year. Uh, hey, John, uh, good morning. Uh, honestly, uh, it's a good feeling. Uh, New Orleans is honestly like home for me. That's all I know. I've been here my uh, entire time uh, through, uh, from when I left college. And, um, and just honestly, being around Jameis again, uh, a wonderful, wonderful teammate, a wonderful guy just in general. Uh, last year, we had some things planned, but uh, I think a lot of things went sideways. And uh, honestly, it's another opportunity, you know, to really start what we were supposed to have last year. So um, honestly, I feel good to be back, and I'm happy I'm back. Kyle? Hey, you're muted, Kyle. Oh, yeah, I, I can't hear you. Sorry about that. How you doing, Traquan? Uh, I'm doing well, and you? Welcome back. Look, man, you guys had some legendary workouts during the offseason last year with Jameis. Uh, any ideas or do you guys plan to repeat those workouts this offseason? Oh yeah, definitely. We definitely plan on repeating it. Uh, basically, when I told him I was signing back, uh, he was one of the first people I called. And I told him like, "Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm coming back." And you know, we was just we had a, like a long conversation. Then we went to talk about working out, how we're gonna get together. Um, and he was just like, uh, "Now nah, you know, he's like, he got to take like more care of me and stuff like that. He don't want me working like as hard. He want me to like be more aware of my body and taking care of my body instead of." you know, like uh, like working hard, giving it 100%. So um, definitely, we, we we already talked about working out, how we going to meet up with each other in the off season. So yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely the plan. That's always going to be the plan based on the person Jameis is. He, he going to get you to work out. He definitely going to get you around him to work out. Jeff Duncan. Raekwon, how you doing, buddy? Um, curious to know, what what do you think the potential is of this offense? I mean, I know you had so many injuries to key players last year. Uh, how do you view it? And, and what do you think? Uh, I know a lot of fans are excited about you coming back and Jameis coming back. I'm kind of curious to get your thoughts on what we can see this coming season. Uh, definitely. Uh... I believe if you play close attention in the beginning of the season, uh, one thing you you learn about Jameis, Jameis is going to throw the ball. Uh, Jameis is going to make plays that you you think he couldn't make, and he's going to keep the drive alive. You know, sadly, uh, you know, we had a lot of office alignment, key office alignments got hurt throughout the year, you know, and, and that sucks. Uh, we had, uh, like, I, I got hurt when when I came back. Uh, Jameis got hurt. So, like you said, it was a lot of a lot of key players that got hurt, and we we really couldn't, you know, get things going. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I can recall like one game that everybody played together. All the starters, you know, played together one game last year. Like I, I can't recall, and that and that's tough, you know, being in this business. You know, because uh, the number one thing in this business is to win. And, and like, it's, it, you make it so much hard on yourself to win when you don't have all your key players. So uh, that would be the biggest thing, you know what I mean? Uh, if everybody stay healthy, man, it's going to be one one hell of a show, one one excited offense, one explosive offense. Uh, and I definitely look forward to it, it being that this year. And if I can follow up, what what will be the impact of, of Mike Thomas coming back, assuming he's come back and is in his healthy. Oh man, that's that's just gonna be a whole nother level that you know uh nobody has seen, you know, uh the last year and late uh ending on the year before that, the previous year, uh Mike Thomas is just a whole different caliber of player. And uh when he's on the field, you you definitely can see a different type of offense. The offense moves much smoothly with him on the field. So uh I'm excited to get him back and excited to have him in his offense again because, uh, you know, we really, really need him to be a part of the offense. Hey, what did, what did you think of the trade the other day? A lot of people talking about that. I'm curious to get a player's perspective. Where were you at when you heard about it? What did you think? Uh, when they traded with the Eagles, uh, I don't know where I was at, to be honest, uh, but I, I, I remember it. 
And I was like, mm, that's trade. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, it's going to be a side. I'm wondering who, what's going to happen if they're going to get a receiver or, or somebody else on offense. Like, I'm just excited because I'm I'm all about the team. I'm here for the team. You know, I'm pretty sure, you know, Mickey and uh and, and, and DA, they know what they're doing. And uh, they're going to get somebody who's going to contribute to the team as much as possible. So I'm, I'm all for it. Thanks, Drake. Juan. Good to have you back. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. John. Hey, Tricon, you mentioned D.A. a little bit. Just kind of just some of your impressions about him and, and kind of what he's going to bring to the table this year. And then have you had a chance to meet Cody Burns yet? Uh, I'll start with the Cody Burns. Uh, I talked with him uh, on the phone a few times. Uh, I haven't met him in person yet. Today I'm going to meet him in person. You know, they've been busy with a lot of draft meetings and stuff uh, for the upcoming draft. Um, yeah, I'm going to meet him in person today. And uh, as far as D.A., man, I, I, I love D.A. He's a great coach, man. Very, very uh, – like, he, he he's energetic, but not, like, overly energetic. Um, he wouldn't – he always want to come in and get to work and uh, get out of the way. Like, uh, we come and do our, what we have to do, do our work. I'm not going to hold you forever. If we do what we got to do, you in here, we get it done. There's no need for me to, like, uh, to – to uh, like prolong the the work. If you do what you got to do, we in and out. Like, um, and he he knows what he's talking about. A great football coach. Uh, as you can see, when he did fill in last year, like he he did what he was supposed to do. Kyle, Drake Wine, any elements to your game that you'd like to improve on for two thousand and twenty-two? Yeah, this Kyle is kind of repetitive. Uh, year in and year out, I always say, like, my biggest thing is pretty much being healthy. But, uh, man, honestly, I, <laughs> I I don't know what it is. Like, I I just need to stay healthy and everything else going to play its role. But I, I just – I don't know what I do. Like, I spend extra time uh, stretching. I spend extra time, you know, working on the little things. But it's like – it's like God just have something else in stores for me, but I, you know, I can't question, you know, his word, you know, I got to stay strong in my faith and just follow the process. And, um, you know, I hope this year is going to be, you know, a year I stay fully healthy and uh, I pray on it and I just got to keep my faith, but uh, I ain't no telling what God has in store. So like my biggest thing, if I stay healthy, everything else going to come along. Yeah, um, my training staff here, they always tell me, you know, make make sure I stretch, uh, make sure I do the little things. Don't, you know, don't try to rush into anything. You know, even if I do feel loose, you know, stay at it a little longer. You know what I mean? Uh, so that, that'd be the biggest thing is to make sure I don't skip any, any, any steps and make sure I get a real good stretch and a real good warm up. Right, you're welcome. I'll jump in. Traquan, uh, have you had a chance to meet the new, uh, you know, strength and conditioning coach, Coach Ray? And I know you guys are getting ready to ramp up that off-season program. Uh, do you have any idea if it's going to be different in any way from what Coach Dalrymple did? Man, it's, it, it's, it's definitely different. Uh, being here, working out with them, um, they're very hands-on, and they do a lot of, like, uh, like, I don't know how to say it, like um, stuff with like computers that analyze data and they show you the, the data and they show you what they're talking about based on, you know, the performance you're given. And um, they really hands on and they really like trying to get in your head and see where you at so we can, you know, unite and become one and be on the same terms, using the same terminology and trying to uh, get our body right. And basically they, they they don't force anything until you, until you, um, as you're working out, they like, honestly, they're very open. They tell you like, listen, uh, if you're feeling something, just, just tell me right now, cause we can shut it down, you know, and that can help prevent injury. And you can be, you know, if you 80% today and say, if you run and you tweak something, now you're going back down instead of you being 80%, you know, and like you tell me, and we, you know, instead of we running, we roll out a little bit more, you know, we stretch a little bit more. And then tomorrow you 100 percent. And they made that very clear, like they're very open, you know, um, and they want you to communicate with them. So we both be on the same page because 
if we're not on the same page, it's, it's not going. It's not going to be well. We're we're not going to uh, uh, be able to you know work out together and complete our ultimate goal, which is getting us bigger, faster, and stronger, and prepare for you know um, the season. So, so it's kind of individualized. In other words, you're getting a little bit of a different program, maybe than another player. Just be, is that what you're talking about? The computerized data, or okay, so it's not. It's, I wouldn't say it's a completely different program. Because he said, like, it's, it's crazy because he mentioned it yesterday. He was like, I'm not going to give you your own separate workout, but it will be like um, a couple of tweaks in there just for you. Like, say, if uh, my right hamstring is stronger than my left one, they will put more exercises specifically for me for my left hamstring instead of my right. So that's that's how it is. It's not basically individuals. Like, it's everything is as a group. But he said in, in those workouts, he would put something specifically for you if he sees it's something that you need to work on personally. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Anything else for Traquan? I think that's it. Thank you, Traquan. Appreciate your time. Uh, thank you, guys. I have a good one. Thanks, Traquan.